So I think it's time we all need to review and look over this Restrict Act and really get familiar with it because it may be taking over your life soon. Hey, everybody, this is Tom with Tom's Talk Show. And uh, I just did a you know, video about a form that I got for taking my gun out of California. And they think I don't have it anymore. So that's government bureaucracy at its finest. So, And here we are with this new Restrict Act that definitely like implements very Orwellian style surveillance of people in the United States. If you head over to One Issue, One Page, that's my new site where I post uh, a lot of things about uh, government. Um, there's some links over here um, on this site to connect to your uh, House and Senate representatives, uh, some links to my other shows and sites over here. Uh, but mostly this is, you know, I've, there's a few articles here, uh, what One Issue, One Page is and what I feel it is and what I'm trying to do with this site. Uh, some information commenting on, you know, some other things going on. And now I've posted a new article on uh, the Restrict Act. And uh, just kind of looking over, there is, it's too much of this here says any. Address any risk. So any risk, you know, what is what is that, right? From any covered transaction. So anything going on anywhere on the internet, basically, uh, from by any person, anybody, no restrictions, no limitations, with respect to any property. No restrictions, no limitations. So basically everything that you do every day uh, can fall under this provision if they think that you are doing something that is a threat determined by them. So here, interfering in or altering results, report results of a federal election. So if you say, you know, that election was not right, and you post that on Twitter. I have evidence of these people doing something that's wrong, ballot harvesting, whatever that may be, uh, you know, causing people to not be able to get to things. You can be deemed a subversive, and now, boom, any and all actions and transactions that you do are now subject to surveillance. Something as simple as that, and they call out federal, this text here in the gray boxes is direct text from the bill. So any, you know, basically, you know, you say that election was wonky, so they're going after, basically they're going after Trump and people who, you know, and like Carrie Lake, who is still fighting that election in Arizona, you know, with the things that they did there, right? They're still, you know, going after that. So this is directly called out in this bill. So after they figure you're a subversive, it's like probably this video will probably tag me as being subversive, right? Uh, what can they do? Uh, they can surveil you on any wireless network, any mobile network, any satellite payload, satellite operations and control, cable access points, wireless access points, core networking systems, backhaul networks. So backhaul networks are all of the networks, you know, you, you connect to your ISP, your ISP connects to some uh, big iron, big wire, you know, high multi-terabit throughput network. So that means those people in that multi-throughput network, you know, out there that backhaul are going to have to install sniffers to start looking at your traffic and seeing what you are doing. Uh, edge computer systems, ISPs, cloud services, everything we use, you know, all these apps and everything on our phone that we use, they're all connected to cloud services. That's how they work. They're all on Amazon. They're all on Google, uh, anything like that. Machine learning, uh, managed services, content delivery. So content delivery is, you know, all of your uh, news services, all of your your chat rooms, your uh, uh, different things like YouTube is a content delivery sy system, you know, photo sharing services, all of those kinds of things. Uh, internet devices, webcam, home network, video surveillance. So, you know, your you've got your own router in your house. You've got devices in your house. You've got your iPad. You've got you know, your phones, you've got your your own surveillance cameras, your ring video doorbell, all of those things, boom, can now have, would need to have back doors put into them by the manufacturer. Drones and autonomous vehicles. So if you're flying your drone around, they can catch anything off of that. The drone company would then need to implement a way for the government to break into that. So this basically 
is breaking encryption. So uh, any software designed to use the internet. <laughs> what software is not designed to use the internet anymore? So that's basically everything. Uh, much more. They can do, go after desktop applications, mobile applications, gaming apps, payment apps, web apps, AI machine learning. They're trying to make it future-proof. Quantum computing, which is, uh, you know, like... Uh, big number crunching and, and things like that, cryptography, so they're coming after Bitcoin kind of things, robotics, biotechs, e-commerce, everything you buy online, uh, all of that, just crazy. So that means that all of these providers, your ISP, your uh, any app maker, uh, anybody writing any kind of web service or anything like that is Facebook, Google, they're all going to have to provide the government backdoors. There is no way you can get beyond that. That means that any encryption that you use, you know, like you go to a site, it says SSL has the little lock up in the little web thing. So that means that once you, that's, you know, secure transmission to that service, but inside that service, they're going to have to open it up. So that there's some backdoor, some key way for the government to get in to see what you are doing. So this is far, far, far more reaching than anybody is even reporting on. This destroys encryption. This just completely destroys any privacy that anyone has. Because once that is there, once all the companies are forced to provide this backdoor, just like China has to, all the companies in China, you have to provide a backdoor for China. Otherwise, you can't be there. And will we know about anything that is happening? No, because in the miscellaneous section... It has this inapplicability of FOIA. So any information submitted to the federal government by a party to a covered transaction in according with this act, as well as any information the federal government may create relating to the review of the covered transaction is exempt from disclosure under Section 552, Title V, United States Code, commonly referred to as the Freedom of Information Act FOIA. So if you want to find out what ga information they're gathering on you, uh, what the information they might have on you, how they're gathering it, any of that stuff is completely exempt in this bill. There's also, if you click here, I have the link here that goes directly to the bill uh, from this website. If you go to the text and come down here to the bottom in more things in this miscellaneous uh, section, um, you, if anything is uh, here, if a civil action challenging anything and the court determines that it protected information in the administrative record, uh, that information shall be submitted ex parte in camera to the court and shall maintain that information under seal. So even if someone is suing the court, suing the government, and it is in court, you will not be able to see that information. That information will be locked and kept away from you. So information that they have on you, information that they're going to be you know, keeping and keeping track of you for on the internet is all going to be hidden. Uh, this is this is hyper scary. This is uh, hyper 1984 on steroids, beyond steroids. This this breaks the internet. All companies. This will force all companies doing any kind of business, any kind of app on the internet will have to provide the government a backdoor of decryption, even Apple. I mean, your iCloud is supposed to be completely sealed away from the government, right? That encryption that Apple has gotten so, you know, famous for being able to do that. If this bill passes, Apple will be forced to provide a decryption algorithm and a backdoor into their systems. This is, this is not good. This is, yeah, this is, I mean, this is of course introduced. There are no, um, amendments or anything else but let's look at the co-sponsors look who's sponsoring this bill um, i think we need to you know start writing them and start telling them so uh, john thune he's a republican why is he doing this i mean tammy baldwin democrat okay they want control deb fisher you know let's let's find these people let's vote these people out so next election let's get this list and keep this list and vote them out i mean of course we have uh down here lindsey graham he's come to be a very, you know, wishy-washy, uh, go-along-with-the-crowd kind of person. Chuck Grassley, I mean, nothing, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not pushing back on this at all. Of course, the ultimate wishy-washy Republican, Mitt Romney, 
uh, you know. But there are 11 Republicans signed onto it right now and 10 Democrats. So it, more Republicans are going after this. So I mean, either party is dead as far as I'm concerned. There is no, it's the uniparty and this is them coming after us. This is coming after Americans. This is taking over Americans' lives. I mean, I, this stuff is scary, right? This, I mean, there's, there's text in here uh, that you can, uh, let's see, let's go here. Fine, there's a 20, 20, here there's, a, okay, boop. In general, any person who willfully commits, willfully attempts to commit, or will if it conspires to commit, or aids and abets the inform, in the commission of an unwillful or described in subjection shall, upon conviction, be fined more than $1 million if a natural person may be in prison for not more than 20 years, or both. So, if you try to s circumvent what their information that they're trying to do, so say you what I do all the time, I'll jump on a VPN if I want different information, if I want information you know, from news sources outside of the country and how the outside of the country is seeing this information, how inside the United States is seeing this information. If I want that comparison and you're on the list, they can see that you're trying to subvert them collecting information on you and then arrest you for that and fine you a million dollars or put you in jail for 20 years or both. Have fun with that. This is overreach. This is beyond overreach. Amazing. Here's another one, another fine, these penalties. Uh, a fine not more than 250000 or an amount that is twice the value of the transaction that is the basis of violation with respect to which the penalty is imposed, whichever is greater. So if you're doing transactions and businesses with other companies that are under surveillance, it seems like you could be brought into that and yeah, also fine. Just crazy, 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 all this stuff that is in this bill. I mean, it, it is the first draft. Um, I, I would hope that it fails. I think I've already written to uh, Senator Rubio and given him uh, this information about my concerns. And I would uh, highly, highly tell you and wish that you would also write your uh, Congress and House, your Senator and, and House Representative person. Their links are right here. You just click on it. It'll go to the to the Senate. You can pick uh Search who your your state is and and find out who your uh, representative is right from there. So again, a lot of the issues uh, information is over here at one issue one page. Uh, thanks for watching this, and uh, we need to be aware and keep alert as to what's going on. This could change all of our lives.